Let's unbox and learn how to use the M3 Crane Gimbal of Zoom. So today we are unboxing you guys new equipment to the family and it is Crane M3 combo. This is the new version. We had the Crane M2 and seriously my whole team was waiting for this crane because after we bought the Sony ZV-E10, uh, everyone felt we lacked stability to make up over that. Yes. This was the solution for us and we were seriously waiting for this one and let me just be literally frank in front of you guys I am just an amateur trying to learn all these things and trying to use these things so all the technical terms and all to be frank I don't know I do read and I do watch videos and I do ask my uh, fellow friends especially Irfan's view he has helped me uh, to show how we could use this this has a four frame so anyways I'll just show you with a box here you go nice 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 there can you help me keep it there thank you thank you so here we go that's cool that's a cool bag white color bag wow that's cool that's cool thank you Jahir Mono thank you thank you thank you and uh, okay okay it's a Zune Crane M3 and obviously we all know one of the two famous brands uh, when it comes to gimbal and it is one is no the DJ Osmo which we have always been using for the phones uh, while shooting but uh, now the present phones has a lot of stability so we don't have to care about that part so but for the Sony ZV-E10 we cannot use the DJ Osmo so here we go Here we go. Say Bismillah. 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 Wow. Okay, wow. It's, it's really wow. <laughs> it's not a fake wow. It's white in color. There you go. There you go. It's white in color. There you go. It's white in it's color. Stand the tripod to hold as well as for us to use it very easily and properly. And then we have its plate where the camera stands, where the camera will be standing on it. We have the plate, and then we have uh, yes, this will be connected to this so that we can use it as a backpack. That would be amazing. So, next. Uh, we will connect this to the ZV-E10 and look how it performs. Let's look how it is connected and how we could use it. And after we use, we could show the stability before this and obviously after using this. Come on guys, let's get there. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. This Crane M3 got three lockings. That's the first one on top, the second one here and the third one. So what do you do this? First unlock everything and let's balance the gimbal. When you unlock everything, you will understand how we will lock it back and keep it to a certain position. And then we use the tripod stand where while balancing with the camera, you have to place it on a stationary position. Use the plate that I had shown earlier to screw down the camera. This is a ZV Eaton and unlock and place that camera inside that locking system. After the base plate is locked, we unlock the three locks that I had shown earlier and then we have to balance the gimbal with the camera. If you guys are using a mic for the ZV Eaton, don't forget to place the receiver on the camera before balancing it. We cannot balance again and again if at all we have to add an accessory later. 
that's how you unlock and we can see the camera moved towards the right let's just balance it and check if it's in the proper position once the positions and all are balanced properly make sure the lock stays unlocked itself before turning on the gimbal You can see on the right side of the screen a power button turn it on you can see four options on it press mode and keep pan photo which most of the vloggers use using a gimbal this is how you can see the joystick right in the right below the display to move left right up and down make sure to go soft right at the beginning itself don't be too aggressive on the gimbal It is easy to use but a little complicated to understand in the beginning but it's really very easy if you press that button thrice it changes positions to a selfie mode and back to position again and if you hold that button right in the front the camera doesn't move it just moves with the gimbal itself and on the left side of the display you can see a button if you press it for 1 second you can turn the lights on you can also increase and decrease the brightness of the light there is a knob there up and down you can see the button exactly you can control the illumination too the same adjustment once you press you can change those You can see two options over there you can connect the camera directly C to C and control right from the gimbal Now let's watch what is the difference of using a gimbal for a Sony ZV-10 Let's run As we have shown on the left it was with crane and on the right without crane so hope you enjoyed and this video comes to of use to you guys to use a Zion M3 crane so if you like do subscribe share and press the bell icon signing off teams of analogy